Still a ways to go. Oh, I'm knackered. Well, hello folks. Welcome along on another trail adventure in Lapland. So today I'm going to be doing what's known as the uh, Pirunkurun Ponistus. So Pirunkuru is the name of a, one of these gullies that comes down very steeply from uh, a fell or tuntri known as Kesenki. And uh, Piru means a devil, so it's a devil's gully. Primarily because it's so steep, ponnistus then just means uh, basically a push. So, like when we're talking about making a push for climbing a mountain, so basically it's going to be strenuous. And uh, expect to see me having a very red face and being out of breath on the way up. Let's see how we get on. Here we are at the information board just at the start of the walk. So, the view from above looks like this. This is sort of looking down down the gully and you have Kesenki Arari Lake just here. So we have a look at the actual trail itself. We are here and the idea is to go along the shores of Kesenki Arari Lake, make a steep climb up Pirunkuru, the Devil's Gully, and go over the top, around the back, and then all the way back for coming back to the actual car. The whole route is about eight kilometers. So I'm quite looking forward to this uh, hike today. It's going to be very tough at the start. And then with a bit of luck, it'll get easier. It is sunny, a little bit hazy, and a bit cooler than yesterday. It's about one and a half, two degrees Celsius. Anthill selfie. Okay, so here we are at the start of the Pirunkurun Trail and it starts to ascend up to there quite steeply. So I'm already quite warm. Let's see how warm and out of breath I get. Okay, so far so good. Long way to go yet though. Path goes quite steeply up and then gets even steeper farther up. As you can see, the path here is loose stone and roots, so you have to be quite careful. That's our way up, up along the gully. I can see why this is called Devil's Gorge. It's a devil to climb. Oh, I'm going to need to go to the sauna tonight. To get rid of the aches and pains after this effort. Oh. Oh. I'm sure it'll be worth it. I think, like yesterday, a lot of the stone is quartzite, and uh, I've also seen some dark green stone. I don't know what it is. Quite beautiful. Though. Now the camera probably won't do it justice, but try and capture panorama or the vista that I can see from my current position. I'm still not at the top of the gully. So I made it! Yay! This is the tallest point on the trail. The actual uh, highest point is up that way but the National Park advises people to stick to the trails and not make new ones, uh, especially when there's no snow because it damages the underlying vegetation. Here you can really see how the green lichen covers all the stones. It makes the whole place look quite green. Check out this big chunk of quartz. There's also smaller pieces beside it. Nice. I just spent the last 20 minutes faffing around trying to find a geocache. Uh, I did find it, but uh, now I'm quite cold. And as you can see, I've got my puffer jacket on again. I think what I'm going to do is get down off the top and go down the far side and get out of the wind and uh, then I'll stop and have some lunch.
Now, compared to previously, this path is a doddle to walk on. Managed to stop at a, a wooden building called a kota. It is sort of a six or I think it's actually an eight-sided building made from wood and it has a central fire pit so it's a very nice place to go and get out of the wind, warm up and cook some food. There are some people there who were cooking sausages on the fire and then there's me. I had half a donut, some like nuts and fruits like a trail mix. Um, I have dehydrated food and I have hot water in the thermos but I forgot my long handles fork, spoon, so I couldn't eat it and I thought okay great at least I'll have a cup of coffee. I've got my mug <laughs> and I also forgot the coffee so uh, yeah I used the cup from the top of the thermos and uh, I had a cup of hot water or uh, White tea. Still, it was nice to get out of the get out of the wind and warm again now. Until selfie. So, finished lesson of the day. Science says varo risteus. Varo means watch out. Now Risteus is refers to the ski trail crosses over a road. So watch out there's a road crossing coming up. Okay so back in the car. Made it safe and sound. Total of uh, 8.26 kilometers. Yeah climbing up that gully at the start was definitely worth it for the views from the top and from the actual scenery at the top itself. Hope you enjoyed following me along on this adventure. This was a quite special I think and um, yeah I haven't decided where I'm going to go tomorrow but if you like these videos uh, consider giving it a like and a thumbs up and comment as if you like as well and um, yeah come along and join me on the next the next hike in Lapland look forward to seeing you all the best this is Kevin signing off moi moi